She left school and went four hours to a university far from home, commencing an extraordinary voyage. She spontaneously prepared a surprise visit for her family with a few close pals in her second year of school. This spontaneous escapade promised a weekend of unlimited enjoyment and crazy laughing that would go down in history as one of the best. As the time came to say goodbye and return to college, her mother offered to drive her to a friend's house so they could go together. Still, her mother's parting behavior was unusual. She insisted on riding in the rear seat and said farewell with uncommon warmth and sincerity. When the rain started striking their car's windscreen midway through their trip, calamity struck. Car careened into opposite lane, causing street accident. This was caused by a steep, wet road and swerving. Her only memory is the automobile passenger's startling screaming. She woke up from unconsciousness in the rear seat because they were excited. However, her memory goes away. Parts of the story emerge over time. The woman next to her anxiously tried to calm her as she opened her eyes again. Fear rushed through her. As she watched the ambulance scenario like a movie, she felt strangely emotionless. As she dangled above the scene, she took in every aspect with a newfound fascination. She looks over at her driving pal and envisions herself in an ambulance bed. Paramedics securing the back want to move. She is drifting, alienated, and feeling odd. She floats toward the ambulance roof unweighted. Her distinct memories include how the nurses looked and what they said to the two people in front of her. Her housemate writhed in anguish and had major leg and back injuries. While treating the injured and herself, the ambulance team discusses the best approach. She remains calm and unconcerned. She's a passive observer. She suddenly realizes she has returned to her bodily body. A nurse asks her partner's name in the ambulance. Actually, it should be L-E-E, not L-E-A. She fears not reaching her family and panics. It's L-E-E-A and they live in Takapuna. She corrects the nurse. A real moment is captured by the nurse's large eyes. A conversation with her mother complicates this day. Her mother had a terrible thought hours before the accident. The 1 o'clock a.m. call surprised me. Before turmoil, her gut told her something was wrong. Uncanny maternal senses predict trouble. Later, she separates from her body and looks down at the ambulance ride. They were sent to a hospital far from the disaster. She was bleeding heavily and struck her head on the way. A group of doctors planned at the hospital. Some of her head's veins and arteries kept bleeding. Unlike a high-tech medical center, this was a local one. At that time, she wanted to reconnect with her body and be reassembled. She vividly remembered how it felt to re-embody and trust the outcome. Her return home revealed her injury's severity. Her short and medium-term memory were ruined by the head hit. Then, head injuries were addressed differently than now. She had basic therapy at 19. She received weekly memory exams with card games and little help for correct recall. After advising her to rest, she was scheduled to return the following week. These were unhelpful for her rehabilitation. She sometimes forgot where her shoes were. She had to move back in with her parents and quit college quickly, forgetting everything she learned. Her ambitions and dreams were dashed by the event and her life became dismal. Over the next few months, she became resolved to not let this error define her life. She fiercely refused victimhood and took ownership of her healing. She meticulously crafted a transition over two stressful years. The fact that she remembered better demonstrated her hard work. She realized over the difficult years how much one's mood and outlook can change their life. The human intellect is powerful when used for good. Life offers more options than you realize. She was grateful for what she learned. She learned a lot about the brain, memories, and complex human relationships. A deep ethereal experience during her rehabilitation provided her solace and a strong belief in something beyond this world, which guided her quest. She learned while recovering from that awful car accident. It became her current business, teaching others the same concepts. That was only one of her life's turning points. After her best friend committed suicide and her parents left her in six weeks, she suffered greatly. Actually, very difficult challenges. She used her post-car accident expertise despite these issues. This helped her grow and discover herself. She gained self-confidence and a deep awareness of human emotions after those turning occasions.
Sharing her journey's lessons is her passion. She interviews many people each year and finds that fear limits people in many areas. She wants freedom from these constraints. She sees life as an adventure full of growth opportunities. What's her job? To inspire individuals to follow these principles, face their anxieties, and enjoy life. Storytelling and its deep lessons have always fascinated her. She strongly believes that uniting communities may create great change. Plans for her platform? This ambitious goal seeks to illuminate global near-death experiences. A YouTube subscription program is the first step to implementing this notion. This project relies on fan support like glue binds the channel together. These customers receive exclusive material, engaging Q and as, entertaining prizes, and must attend live events. Most importantly, their sponsorship spreads these fantastic events worldwide. All viewers and friends who made this incredible expedition possible deserve a huge thank you. It's hard to develop a strong network of like-minded people without their active participation, clever remarks, or just being part of this exciting community. Everyone works to make this community safe and friendly. Because of this, we thank each traveler on this route deeply. Love's Embrace takes us on a never-ending slumber where we can gaze at the wonders of the universe. Love hugs us and warms our hearts. Your time and care are precious. If this story touched you and you want to read more, subscribe and switch on alerts to join our group. We're excited to explore the maze of stories and shared experiences with you. We appreciate your ongoing support and participation and look forward to many more great community activities. Thank you. Gratitude resonates.